until you come out blue. She's got Betty Davis eyes. Gunpowder, what are you doing out here, baby? What are you doing out here? Just hanging out? It's a hot night. Let's go check on Annabelle. Let's check on Annabelle. Hi, pretty girl. I'm gonna stick my camera through here, okay? How are you, lovely? You having a little late night snacky poo? Little hay? Your halter's really pretty. It's a little big, but it's pretty. You probably hate it, huh? Oh, we'll take it off in just a second. Did you have a good day? I see that you've been making room here to move some uh, pine shavings out of the way. Let's get a different angle of your eyes because they're a little scary like that. That's better, okay. What'd you do all day? Did you hang out with Jake? Yeah. Did Pablo come visit? I know the kitties have come visit because they're out here again. Would it be okay if I came in there with you? And loved on you, I mean, to just leave you alone. You seem like you're pretty good right now. I don't want to mess with you. So a lot of people were talking about giving you a bottle. Like lots of people. Jamie, why can't you give Annabelle a bottle? Well, tell them, baby. You don't want a bottle. <laughs> Annabelle has never had a bottle. And I know that it seems really simple, like put a milk in a bottle and stick it out there and see if she'll drink it. Well, Jake tried that before we made the phone call to find out, like, did she switch from mom to a bottle? What's been going on? And she wanted no part of a bottle. She also wanted no part of a bucket. So this baby was forced weaned. That means that when her mom passed away, for whatever reason, they either couldn't get her to drink a bottle or thought that she was eating grain and hay well enough on her own. You're a big girl, baby. <laughs> but, but she's never had a bottle. And when an animal is this big already, because let's be honest here, guys, she's She's probably 200 pounds and feisty and scared. You can't give her a bottle. You can't just be like, here, just come drink this because they don't do it like that. Even whenever we do bottle babies like goats or when I had to do Gracie or Elvira, as much as nobody wants to talk about it, you're pretty much forcing them to do it at the beginning because it's not natural. It's not like human babies where you just put it in their mouth and squirt it around and they figure it out just start sucking. It's a totally different mechanism for them. And some of them pick up on it really easy. Some of them have incredible survival tactics or skills or whatever you want to call it and they just do it. Other ones do not. And this little girl is beyond this phase and, and we're not people that raised her from the beginning. So by the time that I get her to trust me, she'll be probably another eight weeks old. And there's no way that she's gonna take a bottle at that point in time. I, I will say though, like I said, that's right, big girl. You're a big girl, a young lady. Not big, that's not what I meant, that's not what I meant. Don't get sad. Don't, it's creepy when you look at me like that. There, that's better. <laughs> Baby. Baby. Hey, Annabelle. Oh, that's gonna drive me nuts. I wanna take that off of you really bad. It's way too big. I know that Jake wants it on her, at least for the fact of getting her to the pasture and getting her used to it, but mm, that's a large one. So, because it's so hot, oh boy, I'm gonna take this out. Oh, that's creepy too. Okay, I'm going back in. Because it's so hot out, we put electrolytes in her water so she could stay hydrated. I was a little bit nervous about everybody drinking well enough while this is going on. 
I don't know if the taste is funny to her, but I'm gonna have to get her some regular water too. Or if it's that dang halter that's making her not wanna drink, feels like it's gonna fall off her face. I wanna take that off really bad, but I'm also, I don't wanna mess you up, baby. I feel like it's messing you up though. Cause it's touching your nose and it's in weird places and it's just too big. It's too big, baby, it's too big. How am I gonna do that? But yes, there are a lot of people like, Jamie, you have to give her a bottle. Guys, she's beyond a bottle. A bottle is when they're very little and that's all that they can consume and when I can physically hold her to do it. It would distress her out so much that there's no way that I could get a bottle into her mouth and teach her to suck and that it was going to hold nourishment. She would think that I was trying to smother her, which is not the case, obviously. She's eating hay pretty well. She's just gonna have to have time to eat on her own so that way we can see what she's eating. And I know that we've talked a little bit about how that's gonna go in the pastures. We want her to start in the pasture with just moo. Not competition from donkeys and horses, certainly not ostriches. We just want you to meet moo, sweet Annabelle. Have you heard of moo? He's a really sweet guy. We call him Uncle Moo or Mooseith or Moo Moo. You did hear about him? <laughs> he used to wear a halter too. His was orange. Yours is blue. That's a, that color is called blue. Do you think cows are colorblind? Aren't all dogs colorblind? My brother's colorblind. Anyway. So when she gets to meet Moo, that will be her first time eating in the pasture and we just want to watch real close to make sure she's eating enough. We don't want her to have to have food aggression or fight for it, that type of thing. So it's going to be a, it's a lot of attention here on our sweet Annabelle. <laughs> it's true, my love. Can I take that thing off of you, please? Oh, hi, beautiful. Hi. I just want that halter up. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Thank you for coming to see me. That was super sweet and unexpected. You can do it again. I'm not gonna hurt you, baby. She's like, mm, no, she is thirsty. She wants to drink. Okay, that's so good. You don't know how good that is. So now it makes me wonder, does she not want the halter off? She wants me to fix it. She doesn't wanna take it off. There's a pride thing in that. That has made her feel pretty dang powerful. Am I right, baby? You like the color blue. We just gotta get one that fits. I'm struggling with the light tonight. <laughs> I think you're a beautiful girl with or without the halter. I think you would be more comfortable without it, but I understand that whole like pride thing and that you want to feel powerful and you wanna feel beautiful when you walk out to the pasture, but you need to know. Baby, baby, my arm is stuck in the stall here. You need to know that you are pretty with or without your halter. That is a scary, okay. We gotta get past that flashy thing. Okay, that's better, a little bit. You're still freaking me out, just a smidge. This let, ah, Annabelle, don't, ah. Okay, time out, time out, time out, time out. We gotta, okay, hold on. <laughs> we gotta look at something else. We gotta look at cats for just a minute because she's freaking me out. That whole like Annabelle the doll thing or Annabelle the cow thing. She's totally living up to that right now. Baby, sweet lovely. Oh gosh. Can we not do, oh my God, make it stop. Make it stop. Make it... Why did you turn all crazy? Okay, let's go over here. Okay. A little scratchy poo. Hi, beautiful lady. Oh, did you just burp? I didn't know cows could burp. <laughs> Can I take that off you, please? No. Please? What if I sing to you? Will you let me do it then? Will you let me do it then? You know what Tina's favorite song is? 
Left a big job in the city Working for the man every night and day But I never lost one minute of sleep Worry about the way that things might have been You don't like that one? Oh, the wheel in the sky keeps on turning. Not that one either. Um, she's got better day besides take a tumble on you. Roll you like you were dice. Oh, you like that one? Until you come up blue. She's got better day besides. Oh, you like Betty Davis eyes. And she'll tease you. She'll unease you. Just to please you. She's got better day besides. <laughs> oh, I love you, Annabelle. I like to see that you're drinking water, even if you creep me out there for a few minutes. Baby. Annabelle. Come here, let me take your halter off. No. Okay. Well, good night, lovely. I hope you sleep so great. We did it. Jake's gonna be so perplexed in the morning. Okay, I really am going to bed now. I think you can sleep better too. I love you. I do, I love you so much. She's got better day besides. <laughs> Good night, lovely.